We give Mr. Murray a 20 week severance package regardless of how he leaves. And I don't give a yeah, Punta Gorda's former city manager is set to receive $75,000 in severance pay. Murray resigned last week, citing in a letter that hostile work conditions drove him away from that job. New at 6, not everyone is happy the money's going to Murray instead of the city. ABC 7's Rachel Whalen is getting you more on that decision. We're talking about the difference between $75,000 and $0. The original contract would have given him no severance at all. The new one pays him out for almost half a year. To understand how this happened, let's go back to Election Day, November 5th, when council members Lynn Matthews, Bill Driver, and Donna Peterman were voted out of their seats. The next day at their last city council meeting, they all voted to make a change to city manager Greg Murray's contract. I move we give Mr. Murray a 20-week severance package regardless of how he leaves. And I don't give a Murray told the city five days later he was resigning. That means he'll receive more than $75,000 over the next four and a half months. I move we give Mr. Murray a 20 week severance package regardless of how he leaves. And I don't give a thing. Vice Mayor Greg Julian is part of the newly elected group of council members. We got our hands on Murray's original contract. It says Murray would have received no severance if he resigned. Julian says residents think it should have stayed that way. They were unhappy with things that occurred during his tenure and they wanted him gone and they didn't feel he deserved a severance benefit and, and would like it to stay with the city so we can spend it on our infrastructure. But we'll see what happens. I knocked on Murray's door and reached out to three council members who voted for his severance. Donna Peterman got back to me and said he was one of the best city managers I ever served and he deserved it. Deborah Lux voted against the severance. She sent me a comment today saying he made his decision and we accepted it. Now we are ready to move forward with a renewed focus on listening to our residents, ensuring transparency and working together to shape our city into what the community envisions and expects. Julian told me the new city council will reconsider this motion at the next city council meeting. However, they've already had two attorneys look at the matter and he says he has a feeling it may stick. I'm reporting outside Punta Gorda City Hall. Rachel Whalen, ABC 7. Rachel, thank you. Now let's get you more. This isn't the first time former city manager Greg Murray has been in the limelight. As we know, back in August, Murray was kicked out of a bar called Shorty's Place. A staff member called the police saying Murray was drunk and that he wouldn't leave. The staff member said Murray became upset with another customer who allegedly didn't honor a bet on a pool game. Murray ultimately ended up in the hospital that night. Murray says it was a medical episode.